This Georgia man is a Vietnam veteran. During the war, the government gave him a gun to protect Americans. Now, the same government says he cannot own a gun to protect himself. Because of a misdemeanor charge against Jeff Schrader, when he was just 19 years old, he cannot legally own a firearm. Well, Jeff is now 68, and he wants his Second Amendment rights back. Fox Size Justin Gray is in Control A with this story tonight. Justin, this whole conflict about a teenage fist fight. Well, Russ Jefferson Schrader is an avid hunter who's owned guns for decades without ever hearing a word from the government. But five years ago, he was told to hand over his guns. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I hadn't done anything wrong. Jefferson Wayne Schrader has never spent a night in jail, never been convicted of a felony. But this Vietnam vet isn't allowed to own a gun. A lot of disbelief that my country would do this to me. It all goes back to 1968, just a few months before shipping off to Vietnam. A 19-year-old Schrader and some Navy buddies got in a fist fight in Annapolis, Maryland with some men on the street. A $100 fine in court, $9 court fee, and judge told me don't do that again. A slap on the wrist for a misdemeanor arrest and for decades Schrader moved on with his life. Going to Vietnam, settling first in Florida, then here in the North Georgia mountains and having children and grandchildren. Always an avid hunter and fisherman. I've been buying guns, selling old guns, getting another gun for 40 something years. But in 2008, Schrader found out he was flagged during a background check. He was now on the federal firearms ban list. They contacted me and told me, uh uh, the ATF officer was apologetic about it. He says, I couldn't believe this. I looked into everything trying to figure this out because it didn't make any sense. He said, man, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but you can't have any guns. Schrader's lawyer says he goes back to the 1993 Brady Bill and the fact that even though Schrader never spent a day in jail, his 1968 misdemeanor arrest could have, under current Maryland law, earned a two-year prison sentence. You can't have that anymore. You're not, you don't have the right, and they treat you just like a felon. A prominent Second Amendment lawyer is helping Schrader, but so far, federal judges have denied his appeal efforts. And Schrader tells me, though, he hasn't given up his fight. Now, while his past legal challenges have failed, his lawyer is filing another appeal this week. Reporting live in Control A tonight, Justin Gray, Fox 5 News.